Earlier this month, Azusa Pacific University announced that it would be canceling football after 55 years of competition. The decision caught many within the program by surprise, and now coaches and players enter the new year with uncertain futures. Our Chris Harry now has more on the fallout that comes with eliminating a long-standing athletic program. On February 3rd, Rudy Carlton received the only position he's ever wanted, head football coach at Azusa Pacific University. I told everybody in my press conference that it wasn't a promotion, it wasn't a stepping stone, it, it wasn't something that I was trying to leverage to get the next job. It, it was my dream job. But before coaching a game, Carlton was told that his dream job no longer existed. In September, I was told I need to cut $1.7 million out of our athletic budget. Along with that, we were already running about a $250,000 deficit. So now I'm looking at a $2 million annual deficit. And we'd already laid off people. We had uh, cut scholarships. We'd cut operations. Uh, the only thing left for that kind of a number is to cut a program. I thought there was no way in the world, you know, we would cut football. Um, I think there's such a rich history, and I think it's been such a thread of our student life and just the experience at APU that, that I was quite shocked. The first thing I thought about, and, I, and I'm not kidding, the first thing I thought about when we heard the news, I was like, this is the worst thing I could have imagined for our coaching staff. You have a first year coach in Rudy Carlton, and this was his dream job. Like he's been an offensive coordinator for a number of years. Coach Kyle Shoemaker, same thing. Fly him across the country. He was previously at West Florida where he won a national championship. And then to come out to Azusa Pacific to be our defensive coordinator. The decision about APU football was probably gonna happen somewhere down the road anyway because of the scarcity of, of opportunities. COVID put the pedal to the metal. The university made its final decision on Saturday, December 12th. Three days later, Athletic Director Gary Pine informed players, coaches, and alumni. The news sent shockwaves through the program. I was on a video conference call, uh, a Microsoft Teams video conference call with all the a APU football alumni and Gary Pine. And that was so impactful for me because I saw how dedicated this APU football alumni was to this. I saw how much this hurt them. And the fact that they weren't even given an opportunity to raise the money. The decision was made, like I said, voted on on a Saturday, told us on a Tuesday. You know, it's a $2 million deficit annually. We don't have a history uh, of anyone giving $2 million annually to save a program. One of the challenges that I looked at this was sustainability. There was a time we went, I, th I believe it was 12 years, we never left the state of California to play a game. Now, we don't stay in the state of California to play a game other than our home games. Every road trip costs us on average over $42,000 a trip. I think in general, football's got some real challenges ahead of it. I think COVID has kind of brought some of those things to light. You know, outside of, you know, NFL and significant college football, all those other areas of football where those young men put on their pants the same way that the Chargers do, the same way that the Raiders do. The fallout has left coaches without jobs and players scrambling for new places to play. Lee Pitts says he and his teammates would have appreciated more transparency from the university. Coaches were left in the dark, players were left in the dark, APU football alumni were left in the dark, and the decision was dropped on us and the decision was made and there was no turning back from that. You know, Chris, if there was anything I could have done, I, I turned every stone that was within my power. But yeah, you, you, feel, you feel that, like, man, you feel helpless, like, man, what could I have done? And at the end of the day, there's just, you know, sometimes there's things that you can't control and you got to live with the reality of it. Now, APU football alumni are currently raising funds to assist the 11 coaches who lost their jobs this month. To learn how you can help, visit redeemsports.org.